Hey, how's it going? My name is FD, and today we're going to be playing Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, where we last left off. We were having a giant conversation between all the kings, so let's continue. And yet certain king of beasts there, one on whom he she had pinned all hope, chose not to support her. With no more else to turn, the princess and her retune spent two long months at sea, arriving in Begin mere days ago. Dane knows of these events as well, and the king has dispatched a team of hunters to make a corpse of the girl. And that, dear kings, is the latest news that leads to the best of my poor knowledge. Dane knows the princess is in Begin. King Kilvas, how did you come to possess this information? Why, there's no trick to it. I just perk up my ears and point them in the right direction. You expect us to believe that a stray wind carried it to your ears? This is an odd tale, Maxilia. Nesala? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Do you think so? Well, there's one trick to information gathering that I know. Shall I share it with you? If it involves dealing with human scum, I'll pass. Forgoing my lack of surprise is not something I will, I'm willing to do. Huh, that is not always the way of the Fienosnicks to cling those last tattered to remain to remain in surprise. Instead of proclaiming that you will attack none but beginning ships, just admit that you don't have the power to do more. What did you say? Both of you, will you decease this at once? King Na Naisala of Kilvas, your actions of late can indeed be judged as too extreme. Black Dragon King of Goldova, what do you pretend to know of my actions? Please enlighten me, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Anyway, please enlighten me. I would remind you of the Baroque ship you attacked in um, Fianiskian waters and left stranded in the Goldoan territory. Oh, that. Nesala, you lying crow! You've been seeking. Sneaking about in my territory again, have you? I heard from my own son, Kurthnaga, that a Bioke resembling Princess Crimea was on board that ship. It is true. What, King Galvas, you? Don't act surprised. I have no intention of ruling some tiny eyes and nation forever. I will make Kilva's name a to remember. That and no amount of gold is enough. Lag is a baroque. I care not. If the pay is right, there's nothing I won't do. I care not about the reach of your ambition, but you should choose your methods with more care. What good will you do to explain your domain only to find enemies at your every border? I will take your words to heart for the time being. And you too, King um, Foinisis. What good will your uh, piracy do if you earn the wrath of Bidinia? Can you to continue in this case and there will no telling there's no telling when the hostiles will end. Until the beginning the people begin apologizing for slaughter of our brother Irans, I will do so not, no such thing. Prince Rayson of uh, Serenis, are you at the same mind? Those humans burned Serenis forest and killed my people. No amount of human blood can slay ache my search my th ah! My thirst for vengeance. My siblings for my countrymen. I demand justice. I can't even return to my bitter and father to our forest home. I am no soldier. I am no. I know nothing of war. So King Phineas acts in my stand. In my steed. I am most grateful to him, but and I would not see him stop until beginning has paid. Blood leads only to bl blood, and violence begins begets violence. Nothing more. Revenge is simply after another in her name for murder. And you, King of Lions, what would you do about your home of Galia? Now that you know Dane's fate toward Galia is merely another move in his game of war, how will you act? They've made no formal displeasurations of war. Until they do, we watch and wait. If your first steps, if if it's the first step towards eradicating all human scum, Fianasis will help you destroy Dane. No, unless it's become a true war among all nations, I want you to stay at your hand. As long as Galia is protected by the Sea of Trees, we can stave off Dane attacks. 
and the luxury of a large nation. You would waste a chance to expand your territory just to maintain the status quo. Sad. I agree with King Gallia. If we were to form a Galagos alliance against Dane, we would drive Begin to Dane's side and lose a valuable ally. The flames of war cannot be fanned haphazardly. Above all, we must think of Lehiran's medallion. Its location is unknown. But it still exists. We know this. And as long as it does, we can allow any war that could stand to engulf all our nations. Do you understand it, Legacy like Kings? I beg you of you, do not forget it. A medallion? Hmm. I remember seeing a medallion. Oh. Foreshadowing. Dun da da dun da da dun da da dun da da dun. Chapter 15, The Feral Frontier Castle Kilvas Oh my, if it isn't young Prince Serenis! Welcome, welcome, welcome! Uh, Neolucci, you're looking well. And he's feeling well, too. Thanks to you very much. This old crow's as spry as ever. He <laughs> he. Tell me, though, how fares your father, King Lorazieth? The same as ever. Since that terrible day, he remains abed. He seldom rises any more. Mm, I'm not surprised. In the span of a few days, he, all, he lost his family, his friends, and almost all of his countrymen. Yes. And yet we're blessed that you are still with us, Brinta Rayson. If there's anything this doddering old bird can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you. I appreciate your kind sentiment. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Ransom. Neeluj, you can talk ancient history later. Leave us at once. Yes, yes, of course. I'm sure you much to talk about, much to say. I'll take my leave of you. Please, Prince Ransom, make yourself at home. Hm. Old Neeluj, he's always been fond of how Serene is... When he heard White Prince himself was gracing us with us a visit, he could barely contain his joy. So, Prince, what's this all about? We haven't seen your face around here in a long time, and I'm naturally quite curious to your intentions. You had to, during the Goldua meeting, pick my request. What is it you're after, Nezia? Why do you provoke Tibarn? You came all this way for that. Are you serious? Do not mock me, Crow King. Tibarn is my father's guardian. If it not for him, we might have suffered the end of the House Serene's itself. I would not brook any insults to him. Oh, I see. So rather than ally yourself with me, you trust the companion of old, you would side with this new protector. That's an unfortunate shift in attitude. It is true you remember that when you and your sister were young, it was an I, then not Tibarn, who watched over you. Any change in my bearing can be laid at your roost, Nacella. After all, you, my old friend, are the one who continues to engage in commerce with the enemy, with my enemy, with humans. If you were to change your ways, I'm sure we could rebuild the relationship the two of us once shared. Oh no, that I could never do. You see, humans are essential to my fulfillment of my ambition. You've changed, Nacella. If this is the path you've chosen, I have nothing left to say. I doubt you could ever understand what it means to guard Kilva's prince to protect an entire country. And so the Duke Te Antennas of Begin and Pearl's sentence has arrived. Bring him in. Your Majesty, uh, just now I brushed against the most splendid spiceman. What was that Serene's noble? They're supposed to be extinct. And what if they were? Oh, I was right. Wonderful. My eyes did not deceive me. Those dazzling white wings and the shimmering hair, sparkling like fading gold, fell in gold dust. That is Christian of beauty it's in its purest form. Duke Oliver, can we please discuss the business at hand? Per, uh, per your request, we have approached several pieces of art from the ships of Duke Gatos. Yes, yes, and you will be compensated as promised, but right now there is something else I must simply have. Really, another request. What can we purloin for you today? More art, perhaps? Oh, oh. Something much more stunning. If you agree with my position, I will double your normal fee. That is most generous offer. Tell me, what is your desire? Desire? Oh, you surely already guessed. 
So, so I can't believe this whole video is just going to be another talk. Meeting with the Apostle was fine, but all 